Hey, what up, guys? I was just gonna record a little quick video on this um, train stacker logic for um, holding and sending the train. Um, so let me just kind of send the train here, and I'll show you how it works when it comes in. Okay, so we hop on the train, and now immediately this is already turned to the right because this bay is empty. Perfect. And comes right back in. So what happens is when you activate this, this is around six car length away. It has to be at least six um, from the junction so that you make sure you have room because what this does is immediately swaps this to a straight track. Um, so no more like checking if there's a train here or not. It just swaps it to a straight straight track. No reason not to. Um, it swaps this one to a, to a straight track. Man, I keep saying the word straight track straight swap to straight track and it keeps messing me up but so to hold the train and then it flips this power switch here and this just indicates that there is a train here so like I still have the logic that there's a train here um, but it's not for the incoming circuit it's for the outgoing circuit um, and that works as such so we have a dual signal here that comes in um, just you can ignore this whole sending circuit um, but we have a dual signal here that comes in as the main circuit or as the main signal so this comes off this and what that will do is um, immediately that activates this delay repeater with a delay of two and it activates this power switch so this power switch means that we're trying to request a train and if we have a train here which means this one's on this gets powered and as soon as this gets powered it turns off that there's a train here so it you know it empties out the train because we're sending it there will be no train anymore it activates this delay repeater with five a little bit longer than the two just uh, so you don't have any overlap and then what it does that delay repeater will turn off or not this delay repeater this uh, as soon as the power sensor gains power it toggles this power switch off and the reason that is because when you power this off and then you turn this one on, it'll do nothing. And remember, this power switch is connected to this delay repeater, which is connected to the main send signal. So essentially, this is now our send and it's not getting through to the next station because we just sent a train by turning this off. If we wanted to, if there was no train here, and this was still on, then you would see it goes to the next station, sends the dual send signal. And the reason it sends a dual signal is because it turns it on and off. I needed to do that quick just before it, you know, made sure it reset everything. It almost sent the train again. Um, but it will be a dual signal because the main signal coming in is an on and off. So that'll toggle this on and off either way. And, uh, yeah. So then, this little sending circuit, which you guys don't really need to know. Um, I guess I could, oh yeah, my, oh yeah, it's broken. So basically what happens here is I have this, um, delay repeater that sends two signals to this power switch. Just so I turn it off, or on and then off again, because this is on power lost mode. And as soon as this loses power, what it does is it turns off this main power switch um, so that you can't send anymore at all. Um, and then it also sends that main signal by um, having that delay there. You can kind of see that kind of line up. That goes to that. Other way around. There we go. Perfect. And then this one will reset when a train comes through. Um, I must mess something up here. Oh, I said that this does not have a train, and it does. So here we go. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, if a train never comes through, it doesn't reset the switch. So that's why I said don't really pay attention to my sending button signal. This train stopped. That's why. The trains would normally never be stopped. It was only because I got in the train. And there. Resets back to normal. 
And we can send it. Then we can send our another one after it goes through. And then boom. Loading works perfect. So uh, there's that little explanation. I know my video definitely ended up longer than I wanted it to. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, hopefully you guys are making some stackers with this design. Ooh. See ya.